Okay, this is part two of our Honda Data Flash Pro series. Our last video we talked about unboxing and we talked about what is a Flash Pro. And this time around we're going to talk about kind of like the quick start about it and downloading the software and understanding how to start using it. Now Honda Data provided us with a quick start, very helpful, and the first thing is introductory videos. So you go to YouTube, you type in Honda Data, and you go to playlists and under playlists all the way to the right you're going to see Honda Data Flash Pro tutorials. Click on that and you'll see six video, five are viewable, and I watched mm, up to the fourth one. The first three are, are pretty, good, pretty good information, pretty good videos. I do have to mention that they were made in May 12th of 2009, so they're about a decade old and you'll see that when you watch them. The last two videos made me feel like this. Yeah, that's all I could say. I think that's kind of advanced, that's for like a tuner, uh, but never know, we might get into that later. So. Once you watch those videos, if you need additional information, we're making like our video that we're making, there's other videos for your application out there that I've noticed, you know, so make sure you look around YouTube, you can see some, if you need some more help. So going on the next thing, they provide you with this handy dandy Honda to download the software. I went to that link, typed it in the computer, this pops up. And Honda to the website, they offer their software for multiple of their products. I downloaded the Flash Pro Manager. For the purpose of the video, it's already downloaded. So once you download your software, it's going to look like this, all right? Oh, hey, look, the Honda S2000 Tune Reflash already there. But anyways, before we get into this page and into the new calibrations, let's go ahead and go to the next thing, and that's locking uh, your Flash Pro to your car. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, moving right along. All right, if you look at your Honda to Flash Pro Quick Start under Installation, you're going to see Register Your Flash Pro with Honda. What you're going to do is you're going to fire up the software, you're going to go to Flash Pro, and you're going to go under Registered Owner. And in that part, you're going to go ahead and put in your personal information, save it, and you're good to go. All right, moving on to locking the Flash Pro to your car, aka to your ECU. Now, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a laptop. But some important information is your laptop needs to be running Windows. It cannot be running uh, OS, it can't be running Linux, it has to be running Windows. So take out your Windows laptop, go inside the car, and you're gonna have to find that OBD port in your car. So let's go ahead and look for ours. So the OBD port on an AP2 is back there. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the Flash Pro to that. Okay, so we found a port, we connected the OBD plug to it from the Flash Pro, and we connected our Flash Pro data cable USB to our laptop. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the software if it's not already running, and we're gonna to go to Flash Pro again. And at that point, if you scroll down, you're gonna see the license portion. You're gonna see a couple things there. You're gonna see, uh, but go to under the license, and when you open it, uh, you'll see that mine's already locked, but at this point, you'll be able to lock yours. Uh, this is good for both parties. The company, uh, you know, you can't just, buy one Flash Pro and tune everybody's car in the block. And also, um, you know, if it gets stolen, it's locked to your car. Now there is an unlocking process, so if you want to sell it, you're able to do that, which I think is a really neat feature. Uh, you can unlock it for your car and then lock it to another car. Okay, so we've uh, registered uh, the Flash Pro to the owner, um, and we've also uh, locked it to the ECU. So at this point, we're ready to, to you know, interact with the features and look at the calibrations and go from there. So on our next video, we'll be talking about calibrations. We'll be looking at the ones that they have there, the reflashes. I've tried a few. I can tell you it's really exciting already. And uh, stay tuned, <laughs> no pun intended. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.